wood. Let's see. Throw them uh, And it, I think it did. Let me turn down British television. I don't need to get copyright yes, strikes from did. across the pond. It worked immediately. <laughs> wow, it worked immediately. Okay. What's up, guys? Welcome to the RGT Podcast. We are live. How you guys doing? Good to see you all in the chat. To everybody that was here earlier, shout out to you guys. Everybody that's joining us, welcome. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. We have a lot to go over. It has been one busy week. And uh, yeah, it's definitely going to be fun nonetheless in terms of conversation i want to say shout out to everybody here on the channel the new faces and of course um everybody as well for always joining us and always being there we do appreciate you guys and the support i'm gonna let everybody do their intros and most certainly we will start this show okay big mike we have our guest for today mr big mike what's up brother guest is that what i am now just a guest you're just a guest nah. you're, you're just a number you're, you're, you're a peon now <laughs> what's up <laughs> damn uh what, what's going on man thank you for having me on the show again how y'all doing foxy craig the messiah community and carlos yo yo what's no, up right. good to see you my brother we got our brother the messiah since you shot him out so in genuinely <laughs> the messiah what's up brother White Zaddy. Hey, what's happening? Yeah, I was just here to uh, yeah, talk about these topics. And uh, like I said, I just kind of looked to see what they were. And uh, yeah, let's um, uh, get it going. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Hit that like button. Shout out to the panel. Let's get it going. All right. Mr. Carlos Furness, my brother from another mother. Uh, do me a huge favor. I want you to hit that like button, for, especially for my bro, Carlos. Um, he lost his dog today. And um you know, that's my, that's my brother, but he's always here. He's always in the chat. Even if he can't make a show, he's always there. He's the first one to hit you up. One of the coolest dudes that I've met here on YouTube and has always kept it real with me. And I value that not only as for not only that as a person, but I value that because that just shows how genuine he is as a friend. And uh, real talk, he's, my, he's not just my friend, he's my brother. So, oh, Mr. Man. Carlos, go ahead, bro. Hey, everyone. Once again, man, is uh, your boy. Type R87, a.k.a. Carlos Fernandez. Gamer by choice, not by trend. RGT episode, and which episode are we are on again? We're probably 90-something. I'm, I got to retally the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're on 90-something, but um, thank you for the heartfelt message. Yes, today I had a loss of a, of a companion in my, uh, my Maltese. She was about nine years old, but um, hey... Life is about learning and moving on and making sure that you make the best of it. So uh, let's make the best of it for her right now. I miss you, Miffy. All right. All right. And last but not least, my brother here, Mr. Foxy Games UK. You already know who he is, man. The dude who always breaks the top gaming news as a late and he's definitely been the most consistent dude on YouTube when it comes to PlayStation, all that jazz. And, uh, yeah, honored to have him here as well. It's my brother there. So, uh, Mr. Fox, what's going on? Hey, konnichiwa. Xbox Series X, power your dreams. Hi. Sorry, I thought I was doing the Japanese promotion for the new Xbox console. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll definitely get into that then. What's going Play on? Games or corporations, and thank you very much for that. Those kind words. I'm not paying you. <laughs> <laughs> I spent my check in the mail. Uh, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, shout out to everybody in the chat. What's up, Dave? What's up, Pablo? My brother. What's up, Salty? Everybody, if I ain't see you, what's going on? We definitely got a lot to talk about. Let's definitely get into this show. Let's put this gameplay on the screen, and let's definitely get into it. So. The Game Awards 2019. I'm also going to start with that, right? Makes more sense to start with that. The Game Awards 2019. Um, you already know the issues going into this game or going into this show. There was a lot of drama. A lot of people thought that Death Stranding was going to clean house just because Jeff Keighley's in it. And um, it actually did not end up like that at all. Now, to get right to the point for Game of the Year, Game of the Year went to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Now, I played Sekiro, I platinumed it. It's a good game. But honestly, I, I actually believe that Resident Evil 2 Remake got snubbed. But then again, I do see a lot of people making some good points about that, saying that, well, what's that say about new games if remakes can just steal an award, you know? But, you know, I kind of felt like Resident Evil 2 Remake kind of deserved it. But that was my take. Um, what you guys thought about the Game of the Year uh, winner? Who would like to go first? I will go first. 
and further most because I actually called it on a whim you a did. couple of weeks back. You did. So, uh, listen, I know that Sekiro is not everybody's cup of tea, and it's a game that, you know, not a lot of people were into as much, mm -hmm. but it does deserve the merit of being a little bit more different than the other uh, candidates due to the fact that it, it was just a fun game, man. Like even, even the challenges as frustrating as they were, they were fun to endeavor into. Mm -hmm. So I think with, with, with that perspective in mind is the reasons why it got chosen as the goatee of the year. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, anybody else? Well, you go for Well, I go next. Messiah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, uh, first, congratulations to all the uh, the games and, uh, and the people that, that were able to play them. Um, yeah, I thought Resident Evil 2, for me personally, was my game of the year. Um, with that said, uh, I, I just uh, secure a winning. I mean, that, that, that guy gave me a sword. He had no shoes. So uh, <laughs> with that said, um, I certainly hope that uh, uh, people that played it enjoy it. And um, I have no problem with whoever would have won. Uh, last night, all those games were, you know, were um, always in the news or being, you know, relevant somehow. I'm glad to see. Uh, I mean, the the best Randy won best, di I guess, best director. So if it, if, it, if it's if it was like the Oscars, it would have taken home Oscar for best director, you know. And um, you know, it won a couple other things. Nice to see Control win um, a couple of awards. It did very well. So, uh, but you know, it, a couple of couple of a uh, couple of a uh, won a couple of awards. Um, but shout out to all those games. They're all good games that I saw, you know, that I was able to see. Uh, shout out to you, Big Cloud, for, uh, and, you know, and the real P3, Pablo the Third, for, uh, mm. you know, watching that. And I was popping in and out and I was washing <laughs> my dirty drawers. But uh, yeah, uh, just shout out to the awards. I thought, you know, I, you know, I really, it really shows you how uh, pissed off people were that mm. God of War won it last year. I mean, they were pissed. I mean, you know, they, were, you know, they, you know. So it was funny. I'm like, well, okay, it's just a subjective show, and uh, but um, it really shows you. That's why they were so upset. The angst of having to deal with Death Stranding even being there for the last two or three weeks was uh, was crazy. Uh, you were talking about the con you alluded to the controversy. So uh, yeah, so yeah, it's it's uh, yeah, but it's on Bill. I mean, it's like, well, out of all those games, that's maybe the third best game that I play. Mm -hmm. You know, because I thought that game was so far. Death Stranding's behind Control. You yeah. know, as far as I'm concerned, <laughs> you know. But uh, but yeah, it's not like all of those games are bad. It's just a, yeah, a, just different opinions, yeah. different tastes. Yeah. You know, you might like. Let's say if I didn't like uh, the Order 1886, which everybody knows I love, but let's say I mm -hmm. didn't like it, you might like it. You know, and that's yeah. the the difference. So absolutely yeah. different um, yeah. opinions. But when you have a group of men who use other people's standards mm -hmm. to validate what they buy this is what you get you you get people who who are pissed off that god of war won it last year i mean they were mad they wanted uh red dead to win because they wanted to say this game is on xbox and it's the best place to play this game Rawr! and you know they got their cheeks busted so mm -hmm. but uh, it, it really exposed um that's what it exposed to me but I, i'm happy for sekiro uh winning and uh, i know carlos loves that game so, uh, you know, <laughs> okay. like I said, that that, that dude, I, I videotaped me playing that game. That guy had no shoes on. I tore up that place <laughs> trying to find his shoes. I'm like, I, I can't. Uh, but shout out to everybody who uh, enjoyed that game. I'm glad everybody liked the award show. So that's it. With that, I'll rest. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You want to ask him, uh, Carlos? Yeah, I just want to add this, man. If you are a gamer, if you are a gamer true and true and tried, don't go for platforming, fanfaring. Enjoy what the Game Awards presented and how it's it was being catered to the audience. Look at it with a with a different perspective. Last night was one of the best shows that I've seen in a while, especially for a Game Awards show. It showed a whole lot of diversity. It showed a whole lot of different types of, of styles of art direction from all forms of gaming. And it was something very special. And... And I would like to, like, you know, seriously give a big shout out to every single panel member in the RGT podcast. You guys are, you know, my brothers from afar, near. And it, it's been so much of an honor just to be 
you know, around so many like-minded individuals and enjoying gaming for what it is. So to each and every single one of you in the chat, including to my members in this podcast, a big old hug, man, because you guys are what make me a gamer by choice and not by trend. Much love, bro. We appreciate it. <laughs> uh, who didn't go? Is it Big Mike? Did you go? What you thought about What's it? up? Did you... Uh, uh, about about uh, Sekiro? Yeah, Sekiro won the game of the year. Yeah. I mean... It was awesome. I'm, it deserves it. It's a hard game. I have it for Xbox, and I didn't beat it because I got my ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Sekiro's not for the faint-hearted, bro. Uh, I put it down for a while. I was like, nah, I'll come back to it later. <laughs> I'm, fuck, I'm still stuck in the ogre. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, and I'm stuck in the house. I'm stuck in that house where there's no shoes. So I guess the first, <laughs> I guess the first shadow that died stole that guy's shoe. So, yeah, so, no, okay. no shoe. All right, he said he's stuck there. Uh, Fox, would you like to add your perspective? What do you thought about Sekiro winning Game of the Year? It's like Craig said, isn't it? It's, it's a matter of perspective. I mean. It wouldn't have been my first pick. Mm -hmm. One, I haven't played it and had no interest in playing it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's a great game. It's got its fans. It's not my cup of tea. And uh, two, I quite fancy Death Stranding to take it purely because of the uniqueness of Death Stranding. And I may be in the minority here, but I absolutely love Death Stranding. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to replay it on the PS5. Okay, okay. Uh, but yeah, congrats no. to you from software, though. It is deserved, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong, but from my perspective, which is the only perspective I have, uh, funny enough, <laughs> uh, Death Stranding should have uh, taken it home. Well, I walked away with, uh, I think it was Best Game Direction and Best Music. Yes. What? Yeah. Well, we're talking about Game of the Year, though, aren't we? Yeah. That's another category. Yeah, they won something, but yeah, they won Game of the Year for sure. But yeah, I, I get what you're saying. No one oh. remembers third, second place. We, we only remember first place. Yeah, that is true. And, <laughs> and, and he also, uh, Mad Milkelson got for best, for best performance. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that is true. Yeah, it's like it won, like a friend of mine said, if it had been, a, if it had been the Oscars, it would have won Best Actor and Best Director. It just it didn't win Best Picture. Right. <laughs> it's it's <certainly> won that. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, Craig, you say that, but it certainly won the admiration of the film industry because a lot of these uh, directors and producers have come out and praised Hideo Kojima, mm -hmm. particularly AJ, uh, uh, AJ Abrahams and um, yeah. a guy that did uh, the, what's those movies? The Blue People, Avatar. Mm. Yeah, oh, uh, James, James Cameron. Cameron. A lot of the big names, yeah, James Cameron, a lot of the big names have come out and praised him, so... You know, maybe that's yeah. his next calling. It might be Hollywood. Okay. Yeah. Well, he, and he said he wants to make a horror game. So, uh, so yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe Sony should uh, look at giving. I know Sony wants to revive, you know, get their motion picture studios up and rolling. They've said that publicly. And, uh, yeah, maybe sit down and uh, see what Kojima's talking about. Wouldn't wouldn't mind seeing maybe something that could, Sony could do and go right to Netflix or something like that or, you know, right to Amazon Prime if they don't want to have a, a wide market release. Mm -hmm. uh, so, um, yeah, just yeah, let's, let's see what the guy's about because that, that is outstanding. Those, uh, the, you have to hold your breath around those things and uh, that's, and it's it's random. It's not like, mm -hmm. well, you got to go to this part then it happens. You know, it's just random. So. It feels it feels like more than a game to me. More of an experience than a game. I agree. I got I got more out of it than I would just playing it as a game. Yeah. To me, it was more profound. There was a lot more nuance and meaning to the whole thing than just it being a game. The game was obviously the reason, the catalyst, the vehicle to experience it. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have to go through many things in life in order to experience. Mm -hmm can't okay. get experience just lying at home in your bed. Well, you can. The experience of being lazy. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. If I go to this next topic, uh, shout out to Robert Osborne with the five euros as a sticker. He says, how's it going? Shout out to you. It's going well. Thank you for the support. Uh, anybody else new to the chat? Welcome. Hope you guys enjoy. What's up, platform? Good to see you. Um, let's definitely get into the other, I guess, categories. Or actually, no, not even the categories. It was the reveals. 
So we got some next gen news from the Game Awards. Now, this is the first time this has ever happened. I don't remember a system ever being revealed at the Game Awards. So history was indeed made. You guys are looking at it on the screen right now. Microsoft's Phil Spencer came out on stage and announced the Xbox Series X. Now, that is the name for the entire system. Now, you guys remember before we did videos on this, Sony, or I'm sorry, Microsoft was creating multiple consoles supposedly under the umbrella of Scarlet. We had Anaconda, which was going to be the premium base model, which is going to be the successor to the Xbox One X. You had Maverick, which was going to be an entry level system, kind of like the Xbox One X but or S, so to speak. Then you had Lockhart, which is going to be a scaled down version of Xbox Anaconda and so forth. Now we well, Maverick, now know you know Maverick launched, don't you? You know Maverick. Yeah, no, 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 it launched, but I'm saying it's the digital edition, isn't it? Yeah, the sad edition. But yeah. um it's, that's it's, what it's that was uh, that's what's called the sad edition. They I know the community that's calls what it's called. I just, I, just laugh. <laughs> I just laugh when they say it's the sad edition. Yeah, that's what everybody calls it. But um <laughs> Phil Spencer showed off the system. He came out and stated that this is the Xbox Series X. And I ain't gonna lie, at first, now this actually came back to what I said before. I think it was two shows ago when Phil Spencer stated that, stated that he had the Xbox um, Scarlet home with him and he was playing his games. I stated that specifications more than likely are finalized and he has the final build and this is what he had home with him. So this is gonna be the final design for Xbox Anaconda. It is now called the Series X. It is going to be targeting 4K, obviously, but obviously it's going to go higher than that, supposedly, with 8K, dynamically 8K, and um, this is their new system. It looks more like a dev kit, or not even a dev kit, it looks more like one of those Steam machines, uh, more than anything, because it looks kind of like a tower, like a mid-PC tower, and that's mm -hmm. what they're uh, pushing for Xbox uh, Series X. Looks good, I ain't gonna lie, I have no problem with the design at all, I have no problem with it, I just thought that, you know... I was just shocked that it was even here, you know? I think we all were just, like, dumbfounded. I was like, holy hell, they just showed this here, you know? And we know for a fact that next year we're going to get all the bigger reveals, such as all the other games and whatever else is going to be coming down the road. So Sony's going to release theirs and, of course, whatever, um, you know, what their design's going to look like, et cetera. And Microsoft still has another surprise for you guys, ironically, and that's the Lockhart system, you know, how that's going to look and how that's going to play a factor into it, so... That's what happened there. They showed off the new controller. The new controller pretty much looks exactly the same as what you see with the Xbox One controller. However, they changed a few things. For example, it has a different D-pad and it has a share button in the center. I think that's what it was. It was in yeah, the center. Right. Yeah, it's right at the center. Yeah, it's in the center. And uh, the triggers look a little bit bigger. And I think they improved the shoulder button just a tad because they were actually protruding a little bit better. So that's what they did for the controller. Overall, nothing completely new, just a refined controller from what we've pretty much been giving them in terms of our feedback from this generation alone. So that's what they did. So they actually did answer some of those questions there. But in terms of specifications, you're not getting specifications until next year. So um, let's definitely get into the panel's thoughts. I'll let uh, Carlos go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. What you I, thought about I, I, like, Oh, man. Um, do they sell Febreze? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. Um, in, 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 a, in an aesthetic pr perspective, it, it's a very simple design. It's not really appealing as much. But I do understand the kind of um, direction they went with it as far as cooling efficiency and mm -hmm. just the overall design for it. The controller, I think they could have went a little bit more extra with more intricate details and not just kept the same schematics as the previous Xbox One controller. Mm -hmm. But overall, presentation-wise, I felt a little bit shocked. Yes, I'll, I'll give it. I'll give it to Phil Spencer. He uh, he shocked us with that announcement. But nonetheless, it's rather a simple, a simplistic design for the console. I'm not really too too hyped for it. Mm -hmm. I am going to say this, and I hope the Xbox don't get really, you know, pissed off. I'm not going to buy it. I'm not investing into it. Mm -hmm. I already have uh, a much needed second PC build that I'm going to build for next gen. Mm -hmm. And I see no no intentions of buying the uh, the Series X, in okay. my opinion. 
Yeah, somebody was making concept designs. They were like showing the tower. Like obviously, again, the uh, Series X was the big tower. And then they had like a lower one, a smaller one. One looked like a Roku box type of thing yeah. for the slow, the very, very low one. I hope that's not the direction in terms of the design, but it could very well be. You never really know in terms of how they're going about it. But um, yeah, that was what they were doing. I do agree with what you're saying too with the variety in the controller, like in terms of looks, like they could have made it look a little mm -hmm. bit different, like add some green or something to it, you know, customize it. I mean, they have yeah. a curated controller section <coughs> on their website. They didn't do nothing like that, but I get what you're saying for sure. Can um, I chime in? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. No, I'm. It's no secret I haven't been too happy with Microsoft over the last few days. I've had my own to do with unauthorized billing and stuff. Mm. But I'm also professional in my thinking, and I don't allow emotions to get the better of me. So I have to keep it real. I think they had a – this is the – this this what they did in five minutes uh, completely evaporated that awful 2013 Xbox One reveal. In Absolutely. five minutes, Microsoft – bested a whole year of promotion for xbox one that's all i'll say uh on that matter and you know the design i can see why they went for it's kind of i look at it as like a chimney design if you mm -hmm. look at how heat rises yeah you know, i think there's rises, ventilation on the so back too though it's, yeah yeah but if you stand it up it rises it comes out the top that's where the heat comes from yeah with a one fan solution uh, mm -hmm. so obviously they designed it around the chimney design whereas you know the heat is funneled upward Mm -hmm. you know rather than circulating around the console and then coming out the sides it's all coming up so the hottest part of the system um is going to be obviously the top and there is a green sort of plasticky design it's underneath like an the led mesh. yeah so, uh -huh. like the mesh i don't know what that's about it looks good though i like it um yeah it looks like two black game cubes if you put them if you stack them and or it looks like a sort of miniature PC tower. I mean, it's minimalist. Yeah, it's a minimalistic design, right? Yeah, it's. I mean, different. I mean, I don't have any feelings. I'm only here for the good times, man. But um, <laughs> I am really impressed with how Blade Two that blew me away. I think it was the most impressive game visually. Yeah, we're, we're right. actually going to transition to that from it. But yeah, you're fine. Entire show. No yeah. fanboying here. You know, everybody knows I'm, I'm into PlayStation big time. Of course, yeah, of course. <clears throat> but i got to keep it real. You know, I was a little disappointed with Godfall, I'm afraid. It looked like it looked like it could, it looked like a PS4 Pro game with enhanced particle effects and really good anti-lazing. What, what it game? It didn't look like... Oh, Godfall? The, the Godfall game. It did oh, not Godfall. look like a next-gen game to me. It looked like a really clean PS4 Pro game. Mm-hmm. I know people might not like me saying that, but I'm, I have to be honest yeah, with yeah. myself. Um, so in terms, so that didn't look good for me. I, I wasn't, you know, I, I felt a little uneasy after I saw Hellblade looking, Hellblade 2 looking so good, and Microsoft <laughs> just like literally coming out and surprising everybody with this, what looks like a reactionary reveal. It wasn't though, because there's no way in hell they could have had time to organize all that from a reactionary left point of view. Do you know what I mean? Right, right. Of course. Um, that was obviously in planning for a while. Uh, but it, I don't think it looked good at this show in terms of PS5. Right. And what, PS, what, what PS5 is capable of. Because Godfall, I don't think, was the best example. Like I said in my video today, I said, look, you, you, you better expect, you're going to have to expect that level of uh, demonstration to blow you away, to come from a Sony studio. Right, and you won't see that until party. February. This yeah. is a third party, you know, with their own limited funds, budget. I don't know if Sony's helping out hmm. with some of the money for marketing. I don't know. But it didn't look, you know, I'm sorry if this upsets people. Tough shit. It didn't look like the marquee Kia PS5 title I would have wanted to have seen first. Yeah. Do you understand what I mean? Right, I don't mind right, if it right, was an also, I don't mind if it was an also ran type of title you know they showed these big fuck off games ah and i get what you're going with this yeah that's part of it but this is the first ps5 game they right showed yeah and to me it doesn't hold up very well next to hellblade 2 i'm afraid i'm sorry 
Yeah, it kind of reminds me of uh, you remember that game. Yeah, does everybody remember that game? Deep down in the chat and in, in the panel, remember Deep Down was kind of like a yeah. a rough yeah. draft type of thing, this demonstration yeah. of what we were gonna get, yeah. and we never saw it again. It kind of did look like that, especially like in the colors with the armor, but it looked it looked like it a fine. it looked like a really good Unreal Engine game running on a really good PC. Yeah, but it didn't look like the. F I'm not saying the game looks bad. I don't want people to think I'm saying the game looks bad. It doesn't look bad. Mm. I'm talking comparatively. Okay. Had mm. Hellblade not been shown, I would have been saying that was the best looking game of the show. Do you know what I mean? Right, Unfortunately, right. Hellblade 2 was shown before it. Right. And, you know, it's like a really good singer coming on stage and blowing you away and then someone who's just capable of singing yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and you think hold on a minute you, you've come on first <laughs> you know, this is not the crescendo i was expecting but you know what i mean yeah it's it's I'm, i just think this is a really strange decision that sony allowed I, I i you know this is like a reveal of a ps this is a reveal of a ps5 game let's be honest yeah. and i'm a bit surprised sony allowed that to come outside of their own first party studios and they're given that responsibility to someone else because it's a third party. I never heard of that development studio before I saw that trailer. I'm right. sorry. Yeah. Never heard of them. Yeah. I know who Gearbox is, but they don't actually have a prolific record recently either. Good point. Gearbox yeah. have had their times, their bad times. You know, we all remember, don't we, Gearbox, hmm. what happened, right? So I'm just surprised Sony allowed that to happen. I don't mind if it came after a, a massive, huge showing from Sony in one of their own games, and then we see that. Mm -hmm. But then they're giving us that after we've just seen Hellblade fucking 2. Come on. Right. This is not the best advert for a console that we haven't seen yet. You know, one minute, the pendulums with Sony and all the you know narratives of Sony for the last 18 months to 12 months. I know because I've been there. Of course. Right? Yeah. And no one was talking about uh, Scarlet much, you know. And now, my, now we've seen the form factor, we've seen the console, mm -hmm. we, but we still don't know much about it, but we've seen it, and we've seen a very beautiful title that we know is a proven title. Yes. Because yeah. Hellblade is proven. I've, I've played it. It's amazing. It, it looks great even on the Switch. Okay? So I'm not worried about the quality of that title. I think what we see is what we're getting. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But I just feel it was unfortunate that Godfall was chosen to be the one PS5 the one first thing to go game, against that. and it happened to come after Microsoft's far superior looking. And I know people are going to say, but they're both different art styles. Well, I that, that sorry, you could uh, you know semantics. Yeah. We're looking at being blown away. That you know what did Reggie Fils may say when he was launching his portable against sony's which wasn't ready well i'm sorry that's tough yeah. ours was ready before yours was remember he said that yeah he did say that mm -hmm. he did so the same goes for this we didn't tell you to choose that art style blow us away it's like you know microsoft's chosen a lot of cartoony games they got criticized for it at just exo fucking 19 in london right didn't everyone criticize their their art style choices on a lot of their games mm. yeah so let's keep the same energy of yeah course. let's keep of the same energy <laughs> they chose to show a realistic looking game and this time sony showed not cartoony but not realistic more uh, surreal sony's look more surreal yeah definitely uh i definitely what you're saying good point definitely good point i'm not criticizing um, oh, no, i'm no. just being honest You'd i'm be being honest. honest what i saw you know my perception my interpretation that's all i'm doing here yeah. i'm not expecting anyone to agree with me but at the same time you don't have the right to disagree with me because this is my opinion that will not change just because you don't agree with it. There you I'm go. talking to people who may watch this later. Nobody in the chat or here because I love you all. <laughs> uh, and shout out to Mr. Uh, Boom, a.k.a. Double Barrel Gaming in the chat. I see you, uh, Brandon, from the platform. Everybody else that's new or everybody else in the chat, what's up? Hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. So to go back to, I think it was... Yeah, it was it was all right. So I was done talking about the design. Uh, they showed it vertical and they showed it horizontal. I don't know if y'all seen it. So I'm thinking ventilations yeah. on both sides, hor horizontal and it vertical. Is. It is, you think? Yeah. Okay. So that no, it is. oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so can I just say people yeah, are saying just... that it was CGI. Sorry mm -hmm. to cut, but I'm hearing this a lot and I'm seeing it in the chat. 
people are saying yeah without any evidence unless you coded it yourself and watched it get rendered yourself pre-rendered yourself mm -hmm. i don't know how anyone can say yeah don't just say it show me the evidence i want to see an article or a link to something where it's officially confirmed that that was all pre-rendered and cgi and it was not in game or even representative of the power of xbox uh series x i don't want you know because talk is cheap show well, me I some think, evidence okay, show me think, evidence because a lot of people are you know let's be fair microsoft have made some terrible decisions but don't be bastards for the sake of it criticize them when they need to be criticized but don't start making shit up that you don't have evidence on because it's not just people in the chat i've heard this before we even started this live stream yeah this podcast people saying ah that wasn't real that show me the evidence it wasn't real mm -hmm. people said loads of sony reveals weren't real that that was cgi and it turned out it was really running on a ps4 pro yeah people said that about death stranding people said that about uncharted 4 people that said that true. about the last of us part 2 and mm -hmm. look you've seen it that's the ones that have released you've seen that it does look how you first saw it so right. why can't you give the same you know Give, give, give the same, you know, um, give the same energy, energy to Xbox because until it's proven otherwise, you know, when it comes out that it is CGI, then I'll agree with you. But there's, there's no evidence. So it's, you can't just make things up because you don't like the platform. Yeah, the, the, the determining well, no, no, factor. No, no, I, thought it, I thought it said it, it, this is, um, it didn't say this is, it said something said about it, this. In, they in, said it was in, 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 in engine. Yeah, yeah in, in, in engine. Advantage. So both, yeah, so both the games we saw were in, had the same. So that means uh, it's not CGI right. then. In engine right. is not CGI. CGI yeah. is not in engine. Yeah, CGI is like yeah. a rough estimate based off of a dev kit or whatever. Rough of a dev kit, yeah. yeah. Now, it could, now, will it, now, will it be cut down a little bit maybe? But uh, Oh, yeah. It's always going to come wait, that. You just have to wait and see right, until it comes out. I mean, I agree. I just, I'm just happy the, uh, the game is coming out and um that's that to me is it now what's what is ironic to me mm -hmm. is that um well i mean first things first we saw um games you know we saw footage of games on uh, on next gen hardware mm -hmm. and, but uh what's ironic is that this game was attacked by the xbox community this per <laughs> this was this was called a bug-eyed girl this was called a walking simulator. Oh, you talking about the first one? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and now they're 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 uh, they're they're relying. You know, it's kind of like okay, this this is my whole thing is that we saw you, we saw your tweets, we heard your podcast. You not you're not gonna say I've said this before. You're not gonna pull your dick out on Monday and then play victim on Tuesday. I'm not buying it. Craig has got buy. the receipts of these tweets. It's like I yeah, see. Yeah, we saw you. <laughs> 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 I mean, I'm not going to buy this system because... Can you guys I, uh, hear me? Yeah, we hear you. Yeah, yeah we got you fine. And yeah, I'm not buying this system, and I'm not going to rip it. I like the design. I'm glad people finally get to see a console in a stand-up uh, kit. I said this a couple of years ago. The One of the uh, Scar... Not the Scarlet, the Scorpio design dev mm -hmm. kits was standing up as well. They didn't go with it in the final form. For perfectly fine. Uh, they, they couldn't get the cooling master. That's so probably what it was, like too. Yeah. That's why yeah. I did the green LED I tell you, represents, yeah, too. In February, yeah. though, that pendulum swinging right back to PS5. I'm telling you, because you have a, I don't, I'm not counting. I'm sorry. People could jump all over Godfall if they want to. It's not even my type of game because it's it's just, it's multiplayer, actually. Right, so right. I don't care about it. I don't There's care about it, too, by the way. Because I'm a single player it. guy. So it, to me, whatever it looks like, even if it looked better than Hellblade, I wouldn't care about it. Because. Mm -hmm. I'm no intention of buying any game that you have to be online to play or it is dependent on cooperative play and you can't do it on your own, you know, and they said that I didn't hear anything about single player. I heard it's a cooperative play game. What? And you go loot. It's Godfall? like destiny. You go yeah. loot, you go loot, loot. It's a loot slasher. It's yeah, a it's a looter slasher. Melee, they have gameplay melee. for it. It's you know, a melee player, go looting, right? So I don't care about that style of game anyway. To me, that's worthless to me. It doesn't matter what it looks like, right? But I'm still not buying. I'm not interested in Xbox uh, Series X, though, or any Xbox in the future, because I already locked down my next-gen-ready PC. So I've already, I feel like I already have an Xbox Series X. 
Okay. So it doesn't yeah. matter to me. Yeah. You know, I, I, I'm never going to be locked out of any game because I put myself in a position that can't happen to me. Hmm. So I, there's nothing out of my reach. So it's not, I, I've got no horse in the race. Uh -huh. But I will say that the box design is not. I don't have a problem with it. I mean, different. I don't love it. I don't. I don't hate it. There's right, nothing it's different. It's different. negative, or I got nothing negative to say about it. Um, you know, it's okay. It yeah, looks like it's built I mean... to do what it's meant to do. And in terms of you know games, you know, I'm not completely convinced because Microsoft's track record with games isn't great. But what they've shown first time. For the box, I'm happy with. I think Hellblade Two looks phenomenal. Hell yeah, Hellblade that's, looks, a, that's and to me, and to me, it looks yeah. no better than the Last of Us Part Two. Right, now. it just does. No, okay. I think it looks better. I'm sorry, and I'm not going to knock it. Well, I think it looks. You can see, I'm, you can see the ray does. tracing is a way above. Look, even the lighting is way above. Just look at her face. Yeah, look at the, the facial animation. Yeah, I, and I'm not. Yeah, yeah I, I love it how it shows it's conveying emotion, but yeah, seen that before. But you know, the last but, developer but that we know for a fact that was all about that was yeah. David Cage. Remember, David Cage was all about that. It's good to see that they're even focused on those type of aspects where they can get the facial animations on point. You know, mm -hmm. that's, yeah, that's that's, that's, that to me is more important than anything. Uh, we know, you know, it, it is a uh, property that has come out. It's it was successful. Mm -hmm. uh, it brought a lot of a lot of uh, attention to mental illness, which is not talked about enough. So, uh, but you know, at the end of that game, she, you, you, we know how that game ended, you know. So, uh, so yeah, I'm glad they're bringing it back, and I hope it's just as successful and people have just as much fun. And uh, do you guys remember the it. first trailer for the? Have, do you remember the very first trailer for um, Hellblade? Yeah, when the tree was yeah, on fire. Yeah, when she was, yeah. uh, the do tree was on and fire. What did people and say voices? then? That looks CGI. It's that never gonna look true. like that. And when it came, it looked like yeah, exactly yeah. the same. So yeah, why is it going to be different for this with twelve T flops? Well, again, well All that's right. yeah, well that that says we don't even know if that's true. But no, it, it, with that said, um, I think the game will. I hope it does what they need it to. Fact. Anything to get them to stop bitching. <laughs> I mean, because it's just it's just one thing after another. I mean, they were bitching at five forty five this morning. They're just, they're just bitching, you yeah. know, about stuff. You know, so, if I seen people yeah. picking on. Do you know what I? Do you know what it is? Do you know what I don't like. I tell you what I don't like. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Chief Keith here. I tell you that's that shit I don't like. Let me tell you, <laughs> right? Let me tell you. When a company does something wrong, I'm the first in line with you to throw rotten tomatoes at that company. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But when a company hasn't really done when they but when I feel like they haven't really put off wrong in a certain event or something or like, I feel like you should give them a break. Give them an opportunity to prove you wrong. But some people, they're already pre, they already preconditioned in their mind to yes. hate the company so much that there's nothing that this company can do. That is true. For them to that say is true. anything fucking positive, and that is annoying because you're just being a hater for the sake of being a hater. Right. You should hate. You should hate something because. You are you are opposed to it because it's not good for consumers, right? Mm -hmm. It's not good for whatever reason. But if a company has a reasonable reveal, like stop, people need to stop looking for flaws, man, in Facts. everything. This Just because of yeah. your alignment to another brand, like this is ridiculous. Now, criticize because it needs to be criticized. Don't do it because you think it's cool or that's the trend. Because <laughs> you're just a pathetic, mindless sheep. There right. you go. And I agree. Well, and not only that, I, um, I think it's okay to dislike something. Let me say this real fast, big class. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um it's okay to dislike something, but don't expect everybody else to dislike it or to the fervor that you do. Exactly. You know, they, I mean, I can't stand people like that. Okay, you don't like bacon and eggs in the morning, and that's I, fine. Don't <laughs> don't come to me with your with your bullshit. You know, I was, uh, no, I'm, I'm sure you've seen there, Craig. I've seen I've seen it uh, this afternoon. There were certain people out there. You know, is this the is this the game that you would buy a one for an Xbox Series X mm, or no, how they do? No, no, no. Even if I was, even if I had no <laughs> issue with Microsoft, and I never, you know, became disillusioned with their hardware, mm -hmm. that game alone is not enough for me to spend money on a 
a premium console. They'd have to show me three or four more times. Yeah. Because once I'm done with that 10 hour experience, if I'm lucky, I'm stuck with this five hundred, six hundred dollar mm. console. <laughs> do you know and, what I'm uh, saying? What, I want to shout what the out. What fuck am I gonna uh, do with this thing? I want to shout out uh, Game Forte, but uh, let me shout out Slomo because he made a good point. It was on Twitter during the Game Awards. Uh, Slomo backslapped us. He he actually stated that uh, okay, Microsoft they want the power advantage, right? They want the power narrative. But one thing you gotta understand about the power narrative, you gotta pay for it. And we know for a fact Lockhart is definitely happening, right? So the question is, how much are they willing to? You know, go just to get that price advantage or get that uh, power well, advantage. Well, you know that what? Price this is the smart be... move. This yeah, is, well, why, it is a smart this... move because you got an entry level and you that's have a premium. That's the smartest move that they're doing. This is why yeah. I even made a video about this. I'm glad yes. you brought this up because I said them bringing out a cheaper version of Scarlet. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they have an entry level. Xbox Series S. Yeah, yeah, instead of X. Yeah. Right. That means they can make that their cheap entry console so they still look like they're providing. An option, yeah, a value, for value for money entry into next gen, yeah. and then no one's going to complain that the higher model is six, seven hundred pounds because you just won't go for that model if you're not prepared to spend that money. In fact, yeah. there you go. And, well, that and, not, the, only, that's and the not only, and not only that, I, I've said several times just to to add on to that, Fox. If that lower level model targets 1080p, 60 frames with like high graphic settings, it's yeah. going to sell because more. it doesn't matter if you have a PC, there's, there's more people in the PC community. Most of them, uh, you know, are at 1080p. Yeah. Okay, 14, most 40, of them, yeah. yeah. And there's yeah, some I don't think, I don't think, I don't think Microsoft, I don't think they can do that. Well, again, I'm just saying if they were to it'll, target it'd have to be that, 14, it would sell 14, really well. No, it would have to be 1440p minimum, Craig. They can't yeah. release okay, a 1080p console in 2020. Well, again, fair enough, but it, it would sell because a lot of people would just mm. you can go out and get 1080p monitor. Like, I'm going to go out. Yeah, and, but that, I mean, that I, gap I, is – that's I, terrible I, for developers, though. Think about it. Look at the compromise they – look at the compromise they'd have to make from the premium – well, not if you Dude, base it in 1080 model. and yeah. then you, uh, you can upscale to 1440. No, like that's what mode. I don't like. I want the top tier model to be the base platform and then it gets lowered for them. I don't want it to start on the lower platform and then you get increases. No, you. I want them to, to develop it for the top tier model with all the power and mm -hmm. then you turn the settings down. Yeah. Go Definitely. that way because Definitely. that means you're not taking advantage, real advantage. Mm -hmm. of the more powerful system yeah this is what this is the xbox one x's big achilles heel all generation Facts. yeah but since it launched Good all point. it was was a dial up xbox one wasn't being turned down they were the, the, the xbox one was the base system for too long yes and then you know they started turning it up for x that's no good all you're getting is 4k what about all the extra assets and visuals what about all the extras that is a little bit more. Point. Yeah, it was a, a little bit more. A little bit more. It did. That's all it did. Yeah, it did a little bit more. Yeah, it well, gave you more because they started from low to turn up. They should have started from up to turn down. But the problem is they man. couldn't. Yeah. They couldn't because one came out after the other. They, yeah. yeah, and that's if they. That's if they launch it. I mean, I've been, I've been laughing at um the whole twelve T flop thing because I just saw a tweet from a big Xbox guy. I won't say who it is on this podcast. Hmm. And somebody said, "Well, have they confirmed the twelve T flops?" And uh, just a general question, and this person said no, not yet. It's like, yeah, you all may want to, you all may want to back off of, you know. Why, yeah. why, why? But what was so ludicrous about it being twelve T flops? That's not well, even think, a lot. No, no, no. no. I think That's it, not it, even it, a lot it, in twenty twenty. Well, no, I think it's going to be twelve T flops of performance. That's what I think. Yeah, well, that's, that's all. In, that, that's twelve T flops is twelve T flops, though, isn't it? Whichever way well, you look. Yeah, at it. yeah, yeah. I've said, yeah, through Navi, it through Navi, based on this architecture that they've been getting the results they're getting, they're getting, uh, they're getting the same performance out of uh, that they were getting with Vega with less yep. T flops and less power consumption. Oh, you mean real? The real, the, the real, yeah, yeah, the real T thing. Yeah, 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 is like yeah. nine. Well, maybe like the architecture is yeah. performing like a 12 T flop. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I yeah. get you. I get you. I yeah. get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's exactly the PS5 scenario. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not complaining that, that about could it, come right? in at eight point. <laughs> that could come in at eight point four T flops and perform like eleven point six. Yeah. No, you're exactly right. Yeah, and I think I've been that saying that for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I've been right there with you. Yeah, I've been told uh, close to eleven point six and close to a Vega sixty four in performance. Not not actual physical T flop. You know, but yeah, yeah, performance, yeah, performance, performance metric. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like getting more out of less. The correct, yeah. 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 You go to you, you go to White Castles and spend five ninety nine and they give you tea. <laughs> you know, you know, so yeah. I mean you get you paying five nine nine. Which you get uh, yeah, you get the and then you get the performance on that. Yeah, but that's what I've been 20. trying to tell people. Like I've been telling people for the longest. Oh, yeah, you're looking yeah. at the T flops like wrong. Like yeah, you I can't agree. judge T flops next gen like this gen. I agree. But, yeah, even uh, even White Zaddy said that the, the T because next gen <laughs> there's so much other things in play. You know, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they they're able to squeeze a lot more out of each individual core now. Right. So instead of like instead of giving you more compute units, they just um, overclock the individual uh, units themselves, right? Mm -hmm. And you get that that you get that ultimately you get that level of performance that you're looking for. So it's 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 it's, it's refining. It's kind of like you know I'm not going to pretend I'm a PC fucking expert here, but it's it's like you know it's it's all about what's that word that they like to use in the industry. Moist. No, you know when you know it's all about it's all about it's all about um I can't remember man. I always get stuck. It's cause you it's cause of the late hour. My brain works at half capacity after <laughs> ten o'clock. But let me ask you guys this. I want to ask the panel this. Uh -huh. Isn't it amazing that within seven days uh -huh. it was Xbox dev kits are nowhere to be found? To and I literally did a video. I so I reached out to my source. Everybody knows who my source is, Lou Waffa. And Lou Waffa's like, no, there are dev kits out. You know, they have them out. They're about to start fabrication yes. in a few, you know, in, in a few more months. So I did a video, That's... like, guys, look, they're out. You know, don't worry about it. Not everybody may have one. Efficiency. You know, That's yeah. But, Efficiency. Yeah but, yeah, but then it went, then Phil Spencer said, Well, I've got one of these things at my house. And then 48 hours later, it was it's 12 TV. So it went from nothing <laughs> to twelve T flops. I mean, just this, just, just, just moist. These guys, these are just these are clowns, a lot of people man. playing down the reveal, though, saying, "Ah, oh, like certain people are, who are notable on Twitter." I'm not criticizing them. Everyone's in touch. Yeah, everyone's had their opinion. But yeah. I'm reading, I'm reading these opinions, and they're like, "Oh, I don't. I, this is the first generation where I'm not excited because of the way it was revealed." Look, I didn't oh, only kind of reveal details just in an interview with fucking a, a, a newspaper. Yeah, it's a newspaper. <laughs> Why? Another thing, like, and, like, they didn't even have a stage thing, and people were lo loving that. So, what's the difference? Yeah. yeah. Well, my whole thing on that is the people that are doing the most bitching about the unveil, and there's legit, you know, legitimate, legit questions. There's some, there's some legit hypocrisy being pointed out. But it's yeah. the group of people who were never going to buy it in the first place. Yes, if you are somebody in the Xbox community that said, well, I'm never going to go game on PC, yet you're championing this form factor, yes. you're a hypocrite. You're it a hypocrite. It is a PC, so though. You know, I mean, yeah, it is. PC. I mean, you, there's, yeah. no, there's no denying it now. Yeah, I mean, it you know, really is a PC. Phil Spencer is a big fan of PC gaming. Yeah, yeah. this, this was definitely... Xbox Series yeah. X is a PC. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, and, and like I just love it. It's PC, yeah. isn't it? You know, they're smaller cases. Yes, yeah. yeah. It does look like that, yeah, and it could be that size. But yeah. at the end of the day, like the the design I saw with the venting and stuff like that, I'm like, man, look, if I was still interested in that ecosystem, I'd buy it. But yeah, I have a PC, and it's, it looks it's like a stretched Ouya. Remember Ouya? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody put a picture a of one. Of them. <laughs> you know what it kind of reminds me of? Was it Ouya? Um... Ouya was a cube. Ouya yeah. was a cube. I know, I know, I know what it was. No, stretch it's... the cube. Oh, yeah. It becomes like a long rectangle shape, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. kind of looked like a HP Omen. That's what me and uh, Carla. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. HP Omen. Um, I liked Ouya's. I liked Ouya's form factor. It was just terribly supported. It was terribly supported. Controller was badly. I like the design though. I like the cube design. I love the GameCube yeah. design. Yeah. I like that GameCube. That was cool. Well, yeah. Let me say something to Tarasi. Great. I don't understand why you guys. It says Oboro is is faster than a twenty seventy. You're you're talking about two different companies with two different foundries. You got to stop comparing AMD stuff to NVIDIA stuff. That's that's X number one. Don't do that. OK, this is an APU. And so I don't think it's going to be as fast as a 2070. I mm -hmm. hope it is. But uh, yeah, I can't even afford a 2070. Hell, I can't afford a 1660. So you know, <laughs> but at the end, but at the end of the day, uh, just try not to compare. Look at it through AMD's eyes. Their top card was with the Radeon 7 and then the Vega. So yeah. they've got a series of cards out now, GPU, that's outperforming that. And that's when you when you 
deal, dealing with all that money that they did for R and D, the fact that they got that type of uh, efficiency, that's that's really wicked, and it is a four. It is a four. I want to um I want to get this out the way. Shout out to the 409 people that came through for oh, RGT. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hit the like button. Hit that like button. Oh, exactly. You're thank you're you growing, so. Bro. You're thank you so me, very, man. very much. Thank you're you. You're passing so me. Much. Am I? Am I? Have to I gotta say. <laughs> I gotta say it also. I mean, thank you so much. We got four, we got 412 people in here. Hit that like button. That I do it. appreciate you all coming. I through. command you to wow, hit. Wow, I don't get this button. much love on game the game. Thank you cards. so much, really. I, I really Ryan, do, you're I overtaking really me, bro. That. I might have to retire. <laughs> nah, <laughs> man. So, I really I do like on some real like, Sunday. Like, show like, that support to my boy Foxy Games UK. If you nah, don't, they don't love me. They don't love me. They don't love me. They hate me. I want to answer a question. They hate me like they hate me. They hate me like Sway in the morning hates Kanye after that interview. <laughs> no, but all serious though. Friday, I always look forward to doing this with you guys. And um, thank you so much to everybody who supported us today. I appreciate it. I want to answer um, a question real quick. Uh, saw yeah. that Super Looming uh, asked you if uh, Hellblade Two is going to be exclusive to Xbox or is it going to come to console? It will probably be I'm PC just, and <laughs> Xbox for sure. Yeah, but I don't yeah, know. It ain't, about PS5. It ain't coming to PlayStation. Yeah, it's not PS Five. Yeah, that's. I'll say from my. I was going to say from my understandings when I read the article on Dual Shockers. It says it's exclusive to the Xbox Series X. Yeah. Oh, so no PC. No PC. No, no, that's coming to PC. It's coming to PC. They've they've got a policy that they release day and date. They can't go back on. Yeah, I'm saying right now. Game Pass. They're going to push Game Pass still. Yeah. True, but I'm saying from that right now, all I've seen is, you know. Yeah, but that's smart. That's smart. You want to give the. Xbox uh, Series X some air of of prestige and exclusivity. So you don't mention right other platforms. You, that's a smart yeah. thing to do. And Start this shows the PC now. It takes away from the reveal, doesn't it? Yeah, and it shows the hypocrisy because people were bitching that PS5 is only going to have PS5 games. And Sony's anti-consumer. <laughs> Yeah, I still can't get over yeah. it. I still yeah, can't I know, get over but, it. But Microsoft does. Dude, I can't get over it. That they just. That and, and they I can't it. believe that that trailer came on, and I'm seeing the next gen Xbox. I just, I still can't believe. Yeah, it. we're all dumbfounded. It just happened Dude. like out of a blue. We were like, expecting why, like him to say something. It's a shocker. Yeah, that's I, what it I didn't said, shock too. me. But you know, I said, I said on the platform pod, I said on the platform podcast because Danny asked me, "Is what was the most? He was the shocking." Most shocking announcement. I said that right here. The Xbox One X series was the most a shocking announcement. No, Sekiro went in and you didn't got no shoes. Anybody who <laughs> up, anybody, right, who wants to tell me after the fact that they knew that Microsoft was going to re- like anybody. Nobody that, did. Any when I say anybody, I don't mean anybody, because somebody knows somewhere. But Anybody among us, like the you know the, oh, the yeah. general Twitter population, not anyone in the development circles and stuff, just regular folk. Any of the regular folk tell me after the fact that they knew. I'm calling bullshit on that. Mm-hmm. So Nobody I had, woke up the morning of the game awards thinking they were going to box fucking X series there. Nah, it was kept, it was kept too low on the wraps for That's anybody sh- to know anything about it. That well, shit was not only that, Carlos, they, they, they didn't have a dev kit for this thing. This seven days ago, then all of a sudden, somebody went in and put a gun to somebody's head and smacked somebody's mama and said, give us this, and they got <laughs> you it. Better have but you know what, yeah. What's crazy. Right, you know what, crazy. crazy, when when you think about it, right, all those rumors, mm-hmm. like when I look back in retrospect now, when, now I lament, I, I, I realize that there weren't any big name developers complaining. It was these... I know. In the yeah. in the fucking singular developers yeah. or teams lower teams smaller than thirty complaining that they haven't got a dev kit. And I'm not surprised. Like priority's gonna go to the big boys, ain't it? It's gonna go to <laughs> your partners. first and not only that, partners it's gonna go to get it first, first, right? Don't yeah, the partners it's gonna go to your first, first party. Yeah, your first party studios. It should be your most important thing. I don't well, want that's given, any, but outside yeah. of them, there are still partners. There are third yeah. party partners. There are well, second party partners. Have it. I mean, like you said, Foxy, EA releases Madden year to year. You don't think that EA doesn't have a kit so that they can start getting Madden ready? I mean, are you effing kidding me? You know, yeah. they, they actually do have this stuff. You know, so when I was seeing video, <laughs> it wasn't last people, minute. You know, it was, uh, people are saying, uh, oh, it was reactionary last minute. It wasn't. No, it, it, it wasn't. 
<laughs> it takes a while to organize something. You can't just come up with that in five minutes. That That's months of planning. Trust yeah. me. That's yeah. nothing that you just say, oh, let me give you a call. Jeff Keeley, I know you're doing this thing next week, but people are saying that we ain't got our stuff ready. Can I uh, use your show? I'll quickly mock up a video, and you know what I mean? I'll turn up and that. That didn't happen. Come on. <laughs> yeah, like Ryan Panther said in the chat here, Square, EA, Ubi, they all have this dev kit. I mean, are you yeah. all out of your effing minds making those videos? I mean, and here's what they'll do, and I love it. They'll just say, oh, I was just speculating. You know, it was not, you know, that's what they'll say. You know? I mean, it's like, damn. Or you know, my, my like, favorite line, uh, Craig, take it with a massive yes, grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I say that. I say that. I, I know, do too. To, you know, it depends yeah. who's saying it, but well, I, I say that. I get it. But we I need say take it with a grain of salt. I say that sometimes. Nothing about saying that. But I'm going to name a podcast <laughs> next year, take it with a grain of salt. That's going to be the name of my podcast. <laughs> No, but if you don't say st- if you don't say stuff like that, right? Yeah, people will assume that you're confirming it, and then they'll call you out Facts. if it doesn't happen. Oh so yeah, you, I know that. Yeah, yeah. They're you have to be diligent <laughs> on this thing called YouTube because there are people waiting. This they got saliva coming down their their mouth, <laughs> waiting for you to fuck up <laughs> so they can destroy you and, and ruin you and <laughs> remove you from the social media scene. That is so That's true. just waiting to happen. So you have to be a smart cookie. Yes. And don't go putting your neck on the chop, you know, the chopper saying, Oh, yeah, 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 for sure this is happening. And then next week is totally the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Well, That's it cracks right. me up is the people that do it. You wake up turning to Philip Philip. Next thing yeah. you tell it, you tend to flip New, Philip Newson. Philip name is. Newson. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, T Rock 40 right. says he'll, he's gonna back me. He says do it, it would be hilarious. Yeah, but the the podcast will be called Take It with a Grain of Salt. Because <laughs> if I have to look, if, if, if I'm actually if I'm opening up the podcast saying that, it just means everything coming out of my mouth is straight horse shit. Because <laughs> I because I'm not gonna you're not I'm not gonna stand by what I'm saying. So why do you listen to stuff like that? Oh, well, I call have it the, the Saxo cast, like for the salt. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do something. Plenty of sodium, high cholesterol. <laughs> so much salt, right, you yeah. so much salt, you're gonna you so much salt, you're gonna have a seizure. Yeah, so <laughs> much. Yeah, so the, Mort, the Morton Salt Girl will be a special guest because it's, it's just taking a grain of salt. I mean, it's pathetic what these guys are doing, and I get it. They want. I, I get it, man. You know your audience to the point. They're so desperate for news. They're so thirsty. You just make shit up. I'll just take this with a grain of salt. I'll have 16 T-flops, and this game's going to be on there. Now, this game's going to be on there. It's like, yeah, because that's what they want to hear. That's I, wish they sh- I wish they shut up on the, t- the 8K, though, man. Oh, that's like, hilarious. Like, oh, you're, really not, you're not going to hear the end of that anytime soon. Yeah. Oh, man. Listen, listen. The only 8K you're going to get is Pac-Man remake. You're not going to yeah. hear the end of that anytime <laughs> soon. Listen. And Miss Pac- well, no, you might no, get no. a Dig Dug remake or the <laughs> very first Resident <laughs> Evil, the PlayStation One version in 8K. Yeah, there you go. But you ain't getting no triple A 8K on no next gen system. I don't care if it's called PS5 or Xbox Series X. You ain't getting right. it. Not with 12 T flops. Not with that RAM. Certainly, no way. Come on now. You got to be out of your tree. You Ooh. fell out and smashed your head and woke up and apologized to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, uh, let me move on uh, from here. I think we covered all the Xbox portion. It was definitely uh, pretty good. I was, I was happy with what I was uh, shown, and I'm definitely excited for what they got in store for us going into next year. So, obviously, there's going to be some more reveals. It's going to be a good time to be a gamer. That's why I have it in the title. 2020 is going to be epic, and we're going to get into that in a second. But let me get into another reveal that was definitely there. Uh, we got part two of the trailer that was shown at State of Play for Ghost of Tsushima. And let me tell you, man, this game Stunning. looks better and better every damn yep. time Stunning. I see Stunning. it. The effects, everything, the sword combat, it all looks so seamless and good. And what we saw in this new trailer, which is you guys are looking at now, it just it looks incredible. And I'm so hyped for this. And I saw the box art for it. They showed the box art. The box art look, legit looks like art. It looks sick, but well, what you thought about it? Is that the real box? Is yeah. that the real box? I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was, I was going to say what y'all thought about it since you uh, interrupted. Oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, just real quick, it, the fact that it says only on PlayStation, I mean, I know there was there was a, there was was a little bit of moisture was coming out, uh, people saying that uh, we didn't see that on the box. I just... I. I never thought that things would reach this point where people are looking at box art. 
I mean, I thought the Mass Effect 2 thing was terrible years ago when they bitched and moaned about the box art of Mass Effect 2. But uh, yeah, this 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 game, um, but look at the ray tracing right there. That is that's the ray tracing right there. The way that the lights reflect, you know. But where um, he goes to Tsushima? By God, low there, level. There's no ray tracing in this game. By God, none whatsoever. <laughs> I guarantee. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm um. I, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game now. Of course, me, I've already said this, Final Fantasy VII, because I never yes. played Final Fantasy VII. So oh, my I'm God. That more. You but never yeah. played Final Fantasy VII, Craig? No, I saw the hey, box no, art, and, and that guy had a sword treat. bigger than my something. That I had, you know, had a guy had a big Craig, sword. He had a little Craig, body. I'm like, I can't play Craig. It. What you think is ray tracing in this trailer goes it's, 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 it's global illumination. That's all that is. Yeah, that's it's, like, it's trickery to make you to to well, resemble. You're right, but Fox, sources, remember, you but gotta, it, remember, none of that is that none of that's gray tracing. Okay, though. but Fox, you got to take what I say with a grain of salt. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you are that one. But, uh, you are the rain not, in that. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna have ray tracing in it, but yeah, but not, they, uh, they, I'm right. excited for this game. I'm excited for the people. Shout out to uh to a ghost of a uh, Ian. He uh I know he's uh he's excited about it. So uh, yeah, I'm um looking forward to it. But for me, Final Fantasy VII uh, all the way. And then um I'm inter- I'm semi interested in Resident Evil uh three. Semi. semi? Like, I've had a what? little bit of a we chug, gotta talk after so. the show, sir. Do you know what? I just hope you know what I'm <laughs> definitely interested in it. But I just hope I'm not spending the whole game running away from. That will get boring. No, uh, no, no, no you not like in do, isolation. Yeah. Like you have to, you have to hide for too long. And is it gone? Is it there? Like oh, oh come no, on, <laughs> yeah, that's I don't not how. Spend ten uh, minutes Resident in a in a locker hiding. Yeah, Resident Evil <laughs> Three. Um, the difference between it and, and the Titan, uh, you can fight it, right? So the first time you fight it, you and you kill it, and you knock him out. Uh, you get a piece to a gun, which is a Desert Eagle. It's like a powerful pistol, and uh, he appears he appears two two more times, and basically it's optional if you fight him there, and you know again you kill him, and if you kill him those two times, you get the strong gun. But that's basically what Nemesis is. He's all about just making you know. He's all about tension in the game, and that's what he's going to be there for. He won't be chasing yeah, you the I'm, entire I remember I, I, you, you Listen, I'm a veteran, dog. I played three <laughs> on the fucking PlayStation One. He, he ain't going to be chasing you. I know what dog. he's there for. I'm just saying. I hope they don't overdo it with the remake. Like if they, if it's the oh. same as the original, I can handle that. But don't make it frustrating. Yeah. Where you're stuck in a place for so long. I can alien isolation, like you're hiding or you have to go somewhere for so long nah. that five, ten minutes is passing. It's like waiting for the rain to stop in Death Stranding. Enough. Oh, I guess. The, predator, I the Predator Did game. You, uh, the Predator game, that? I'm interested in that too. So. No, the Predator game's a hard pass for me. Oh, no, I'm buying. I've already reserved that. I'm going to kill everybody. That I'm Ooh. playing as the Predator all the time. You will not kill me. I've mastered that I game mean, already in my head. So, yeah, I'm sure uh, you did. <laughs> not gonna kill me in that game. So I will come kill you. I'll sleep in the bed next to you with that thing, and I'll kill you in the morning. Hey. For, you know, it's so. gonna be for what I for what I remember for a fact. I know for a fact it's gonna be like the it's gonna be like the Titan from Resident Evil Two remake, but it's gonna be amplified. So you're gonna hear heavy footsteps letting you know how close he is or how far he is from you, and then you'll hear yep. stars if he's super close, and that's when he'll either shoot a rocket launcher at you or run at you. So that's pretty much what's going to be happening there. Either way, I'm These excited. These next gen consoles, I feel like they're going to look better than PCs for like six months. Yeah, I can see that because ray tracing is not six being months. fully uh, taken advantage of. Only game that I've six seen taken advantage give it of to a year, and then PCs would just overtake them again. Yeah, Do I remember can, the 360 yeah. and PS3 era. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, no PC game really looks better than what was coming out 360. Just remember that. Yo, we yeah, we got a super chat. You gotta pay the bills, Bitcoin. Oh, that's for you. That was directed towards you. You got it. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Has the platform live. Thanks for the two dollar holo. Uh, hashtag <laughs> community. Hashtag white zaddy. Hashtag Xbox sex. L O L. Oh God. <laughs> I, I, I'm just reading it, brother. I, I'm not. Yep. Gonna... Shout out to Danny. I mean, Danny. Uh, I mean Shout X, X, X S X X S X. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I think friend. the name's gonna be. I think people are gonna adopt. The, I think after a while, <laughs> people aren't gonna say Xbox Series X. They're gonna either say Xbox, Xbox or S- no Xbox SX or Series X. But I don't think we're gonna say the full name because it's too much. It's too yeah, much. It's too yeah, much. yeah. And it's I'll kind of confusing. 
It That's really, like series, it's not I confusing. Like it's not confusing. It's just weird of a name that we. we it's got just too for. much. It's, you know, it's unnecessary. I don't know, man. Like, I, it's better I, I, to shorten it. You know, like remember the Atari ST. People used to say, "Oh, I've got an ST." No one said, "I have an Atari ST." Yeah. <laughs> That's right. What was you about to say, right. Big Mike? I was going to say, it's confusing. Me and Danny were talking about it, and I don't know. Whoever comes up with the marketing names for these names, I, I don't know. I, they need to sit back and think about it a little bit more because they're, the name Why? is... Why? What's wrong with the name? It's just don't it sound like, Don't it sound prestigious? Don't it sound expensive? Don't it sound, it should, don't it sound like it should be a car? Ex sounds like a damn Pornhub name, bro. Thank you, Carlos! Like it, it, you know what? It sounds, it, like, like, it sounds like models of a vehicle, like the series. Right, all right, <laughs> take take this for instance. Or very when, lucrative, expensive watch, Series X. Would take this for instance. Yeah, like, that makes it sound like <laughs> prestigious. I think it gives it like a. It gives it a. a it, ma it makes it sound like it's expensive. I mm -hmm. think it's. Probably. I think it's like this. It's like you know when the Wii came out and we got the Wii U. That shit was confusing. That was one of the, the downfalls. Oh, because they had Wii no, in the name. No, it's yeah. only confusing if Microsoft. Still decide to continue manufacturing Xbox One, Xbox One X. Yeah, yeah. If they cut yeah. off the manufacturing and the last supply run of that is gone, there is no mistake to be made. Yes, yes, that's true. Wow. But they had to do that ASAP at this point, though. It has to be done ASAP. No, one year, one year. Yeah, I'm saying like start doing that, like getting Stop the manufacturing process of that after yeah. one year, and then you buy the cheaper. If you want an X, like for that price range, you'll end up buying the. Uh, Xbox Series S model, weren't you, for four T frogs? Good point. Good point. Yeah, but that, if that Series X point. is targeting six, they could like be said, replacing them. Run. They might stop selling the S model and the One X, and you might just, you know, because remember, all the games work across them now, so there's nothing to stop them. It's not like you right. can't play a game. Yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 2020, I want to definitely shift into that because we were actually shifting into that, so to speak. Lots to look forward to. Final oh, Fantasy. Oh, yeah. Resident Evil 3, what else, people? We have Godfall. We got, well, actually, did it say uh, Hellblade. Hellblade 2 for the year yes. 2020? Was well, that the, it's a launch game. It's oh, it's a launch game. game. Okay, so 2020, yeah. Hellblade 2. What else we got going into 2020? Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, Ori. Bravely, Ghost of Tsushima. Bravely. 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 La Last of Us 2. Last of Us 2. Bravely, Bravely Cyberpunk. Give Bravely. the Switch some love, man. Bravely Bra default. Team. Yeah, throw them in there. If you got a game yeah. for a Nintendo, throw it in there. Bravely, what was it? Bravely what? I've and congratulations to okay. Nintendo for bypassing uh, Microsoft in what it like 20, 34 months. Ooh, you had to throw that shade in there, didn't you? Like, no, I'm just, no, because <laughs> I mean they've been Again, doing. You know what? I should have. I'm not a gambler, but I should have betted yeah. with people that doubted me when yeah, I said this was going to happen before the, the end of the generation. Yeah, yeah the butter right. is that people need to pay. Yeah, these clowns saying, "Oh, it's not powerful." Up. Well, then, what's that got? What's that say about the Xbox? Then mm. it might be powerful, but it's lacking a lot. Uh, well, the Xbox is moist. That's oh, just God. the bottom. So, Cyberpunk, moist. yes, that's true. Cyberpunk, yeah, Cyberpunk no more yeah. Heroes Three. Got a lot of yes, yeah, a lot coming in twenty twenty. A lot. Oh yeah, it's man, gonna be an epic man, ass man. year. That's why I said it's epic. Man. It's an epic year for man. gaming. Yeah. So man. this what year, about, uh, you know what's funny? Why is no one talking about the new IPs? I am. I just For said Mass one? Effect and MLB. There were like 10 new IPs, yeah? Mm -hmm. That you mm -hmm. never heard of before. No one's talking about them. Yeah. Which ones? Exactly. No one's well, talking about them. You don't even remember. Why did Wally watch it? I had to go wash my dirty drawers. So there was one? loads, man. There was... <laughs> There was that in the woods, the men, the men in the forest or something. It, it's in the woods, survive something like that. It's like a it's horror game with Wits. like uh, right. creatures. There was loads of games, but yeah. no one's talking about them. It's like yeah. Yeah, the in the woods, I, tons yeah. of games got launched. Tons of games got revealed, you know. Yeah, well, a lot of games got revealed. Some New of which, games. Uh, one game shocked me. It was an indie game. It walked away with like three awards. I never heard of this game. Um, it was you know what I'm talking about right Foxy the lady in the dress kept uh, receiving them uh, I think she was uh, oh something. yeah that yeah. was like uh, disco something there you go disco something. yeah I didn't disco, know disco I never that game disco it, Elysium there you go disco Elysium yeah I heard about like that I, I think that piece I think it's big on PC I think the PC it, it's oh, only on PC it's only on PC. PC okay and I was gonna ask you did you guys get your free game no. yeah I did yeah, okay so I got one also and I gave it to Danny. Do you, know what? you know the best reveal for me though of the whole show you can mm. forget next gen you can forget next gen games and next gen xbox there was no game that was better than this one reveal i saw oh the lead singer of the churches oh that was the best reveal oh baby 
<laughs> she cute. She fine, man. Damn. I kept oh, that chick that was part. singing the song for Death Stranding? The Death Stranding, yeah. She's yeah, yeah, hot, yeah, man. Yeah. She's from Scotland, man. She's cute. I love that little <laughs> cute. At first, I didn't know. It was funny. I haven't even beaten that game, and yet I kind of figured that was for Death Stranding because her makeup, she had like the little, you know what I'm talking about? It looked like. Uh, nah, nah. Her face. She's cute, man. She's cute. I'm going to start hanging out where she hangs out. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. <laughs> Uh, some of the performances were good. Some were like, uh, I didn't really need to hear this. A or little bit weird and far Yeah, some I didn't want to listen to. Um, I like the orchestra, definitely. I think that should be a staple for all gaming events, to be honest with you. It's like orchestra and mm -hmm. video games just mix well, very, very yep. well together. I like the orchestra. Yeah, I, I think that's really, really good. Uh, uh, I also like the, I'm, I'm not, I know a lot of people didn't like it. I like the Green Day concert. It was pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, they're 90s. They're 90s. Cool. <laughs> no, nah, I like yeah, their old stuff, work. man. I couldn't get into that stuff playing. I like yeah. I like September, Wake Me Up When September. It's Boulevard yeah, of Broken Jews, American Idiot. I don't yeah. like this new stuff. Green Day had me laughing, no, though, every time in the middle of their performance, like, put your fucking hands up. <laughs> and like, you know why? You know why? <laughs> they, they, they're on the comeback, in it? They're on the comeback. Yeah. Because they've not been, they've not really been. They've not been. Yeah. They've not been, been doing so. It's just stuff while. we probably don't listen to. They probably still. Yeah. yeah, they probably still got some crazy hits. It's just I don't. I don't really follow Green Day like that. Yeah, yeah, they got their underground following. That's that yeah. they started with. That they started with before they got famous. They've those people are always with you. Yeah. yeah, but in terms of like mass success on a level that they had with the first, the other two albums, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. American Idiot. Like, uh, uh, their stuff hasn't been that. It's like Coldplay. I say the same. I love Coldplay, but their new stuff is shit compared to their older stuff. I agree. Yeah, it, it, it started going down with X and Y. That that was yeah. Not it's it's, good, it's like it's album. like they, they get lazy. They make so much money. Like creative, they yeah. seem to get lazy. Remember Mary J. Blige? She used to make really good albums, like the first, yeah. second, and the third. Then they were just shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're right. They, they were. No, you're right. Yeah, they get that. They well, uh, the the famous rapper Ice T said, "Being a an artist is like being a chef, and you try to come up with a new dish every year." Facts. And, yeah. You know, so, um, but yeah, yeah they, but, I mean, but, right, but those dishes right. never come out adequately good all the time. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, it's trash. You know. Yeah, uh, just, just let me just Alex in because I like to educate people, and I like to be educated. So it doesn't matter who's doing the educating. But Alex Caldwell in the chat, respectfully, The Forest is not a new IP. The first one is on. Yeah, but this is not the same forest, my friend. I know the game you're talking about. This is a new IP. This is called Children of the Forest or something of the forest. This, you know, Sons of the Forest. Sons of the Forest, right? They're two different games. Like when they first showed that trailer and I saw Sons of... Wait, Sons of Anarchy? When did it look like that? But then Forest came up and I thought, okay. I didn't care for the forest. I don't know if you played it there, Foxy. What the, the forest on PS4? Yeah, I have it. I nah, didn't care for it. I, I only know it by name. That's about it. When it, it was shown, uh, I thought it was that. Uh, I thought it was a sequel, maybe to Blair Witch. Cause I was talking to Pablo right. live, and I was like, "Is that the Blair Witch like sequel or something?" And it was like, "Nah, it wasn't Blair Witch. So something new." But yeah, the forest there, Foxy. It, what it is, is a survival war uh, Minecraft <clears throat> game. Nah, you see, I know it by name. I know every game. Even if I haven't played them. Oh, I'm I'm just saying no, that's what it is. I played it before. Oh no, I don't. No, I don't. I, I never played it. Like I know what I like immediately, you know. But I right. I know it by name though. If you say, yeah, I say yeah. But I, that's about it. I just know a game called The Forest came out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? I know that much. It's like that game by um. What's that other game where it's like a puzzle game and it's like it looks like Minecrafty but know. better. No, it's that guy that made. It's like he's an indie developer, and he got really famous on this platformer game, where there's like a voiceover throughout the whole game. You're playing, and it's like a cowboy western voice is talking to you throughout the whole game, like a narrator. Oh, um, um I'm trying to think. Of that. It came out on the PS4 first a couple of years ago, and then it came on PC, and even Xbox has got it now. Um, what's it called? Yeah. It's a puzzle game, man. Yeah. Um, By that guy, David. What's his name? Oh man, it's colorful, man. Like Minecraft, yellow, blue, green. It's like you're in a. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, you got me. I forgot the name. It's like everyone was it's talking so many, about it. It's so many. Back in it's, 2015. Yeah, it's so many. I didn't. I didn't it's 29.99, right? And it came out on Xbox fairly recently. Bastion. That's what he said. 
Yeah, Bastion is Bastion? the developer. So, oh, what's okay. the last game he made? Like three D game. Mm, yeah, me. Puzzle game. I, puzzle. I didn't play Bastion. It's a puzzle game. Yeah. The Witness. The Witness. Thank God, I love people in the. If they, if you know what, I <laughs> go witness. mad. I'd go mad if it weren't for certain people in the chat, you know, helping <laughs> the you out. I haven't names. seen that you know since why? the start of the I haven't got much hair as it is. So I'm pulling out every piece of eyebrow hair <laughs> I've got left. You know, the witness. You know. I haven't seen that since the start of the PS4. You remember it was like in the dev. That's 2015. Video. 2015 it looks. Oh, 2015. Uh, okay. to, to, to add to another concert to the Game Wars, they should have gotten Meg the Stallion Lizzo. Who? Oh. Really, Michael? Really? <laughs> What did he say? I didn't even hear that. He said it so fast. What did he say? I said to add to another concert to the Game Awards, they should have add, added Meg the Stallion and Lizzo. Well, Meg the Stallion. You do. Oh, my God. Meg the Stallion. Get, mm. Mm, hallelujah there, Foxy. Listen, <laughs> I've seen, seen, seen too well, many you in, butt are you into those? Are you into that? Lizzo's. Sorry, no, no lizzle cheeks, please. <laughs> are you into, is that your kind of girl, though, Lobo? Like Nicki Minaj bodies? Like you like I'm, all that? I'm, that's I'm not Mike, Lobo. Man. That's Big Mike. I'm Big Mike. Oh, Big Mike, you like all that, Big Mike? I, I have no. I'm you not. Like, you, no like, you like all that booty? I like. I like it all. <laughs> Yeah, money. Real pit to say Lizzo was built like a box. You see, I don't like my hey. woman. Lizzo <laughs> is fine. As here's, the thing. I, here's the thing. I don't like my woman's body falling out of her clothes. I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, to that me that looks trashy. To, get out. <laughs> to me that looks trashy. To me that looks yeah. trashy. I Bro, wouldn't want to. Yeah. I saw them pictures that. that they saw that they showed on. There's Ooh. women here. Yeah. There's women that I want to see in a fall situation with a ceiling, and then there's women I don't want to be seen with in public. Yeah. And the Nicki Minaj's, how they dress. I know it's they're, they're hip hop stars, but they seem to dress like that yeah. all the time. So well, that's, mean, not it's always been that's not my type. It's always been that way with, with music and the women. Because you know, as I said, hold on. Hold on. It's like you know what I say. I like sexy, not sleazy. Oh, oh I mean, it's not really sleazy, though. <laughs> I mean, but, is. Nah. come on now. Come on, Big Mike. We know you stalk streamers. Stop. You know. I would. I would never. Listen. I would never date. We listen. Listen. I would never date a girl with ass implants or boob implants. I don't that type of one. I would. One. Nah. Thank you. For me, to me, like warm bread, fed and home grown fed, baby. For me, right? I don't want to judge anyone. Yeah, unfairly, because everyone got their own reasons for why they do. But for me, if you alter your body to a point where. Most of it's fake. Your self-esteem. I need a strong woman. Hold on now. Believes in herself. Not no, I agree. I agree. Okay. I guess, yeah. Foxy, let me uh, let me interject I, here. I, me interject I can here. ask you. I can understand you're saying you know M me Nicki Minaj might be a uh, fake, uh, but Lizzo and you know Meg the Stallion's not. They're all natural. Yeah, natural. but you know what? I'm a small. I'm a slim guy. Like I don't want to. Do you know what I mean? So I just like a slim bird. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Platform Live, aka Daddy. I mean, my Lizzo bones are Series fragile, X. man. I'm a fragile guy, man. Don't well, throw I mean, me over. Make, make the stats not don't, you know, huge, though. I mean, she's not a big Listen, 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 listen. Got... them girls, they would toss me around the room like I'm like I'm trying to ride a buckaroo. And there's nothing wrong with being tossed around. There's nothing wrong with being tossed around. Man. <laughs> no, man, I'm fragile, bro. I like to be in charge. I that, like to be in charge. That's when you know you grab the side of those hips, you know. No, man. I bruise easy. I bruise easy, bro. Are we talking video games? Are we talking? All right, let's How move this. Look, I'm moving. I'm moving this on. I'm actually gonna uh, get to the end I now. Was easy, bro. Yeah. My ribs hurt. <laughs> I, 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 I bruise. I bruise. Hold on. I bruise so easy when I yawn, my ribs hurt. <laughs> 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 hey, shout, out, shout out to Danny from the platform live. Hey, how did how did that Sekiro win taste to you, bruh? Let me go ahead and shut this down. I want to say shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to almost 500 people here. That is a new right. high for this channel. Right. Thank you so Thanks very, very much on. for coming through. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Number but positivity, some good vibes and some good discussion. If you guys enjoyed the show, definitely hit that subscribe button. Hit that yes. bell icon to uh, so you won't miss the show. We'll be back again next week. And definitely hit that like button also if you enjoyed the show i want to say shout out to everybody on the panel for coming through it was all, definitely a lot to go over and it was definitely some fun talking to all of you uh, <laughs> yeah i have a lot of fun doing these I, too much fun but it's um, the only time i get away with 
like <laughs> be totally uninhibited because when I'm doing my new stuff, I can <laughs> obviously say this these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, shout out to uh, Big Mike who uh, came through for platform in the chat. Go ahead, do your outro, brother. Yo, uh, my name's Big Mike. You can find me on Twitter at Big Mike ten twenty four seventy seven. Find us on the platform live on YouTube.com The platform live one p.m. Pacific, uh, one p.m. Eastern, ten a.m. Pacific. Okay. Uh, he said, "Are you on PC?" Yes, Big Cloud Gaming. Same name as the channel. Uh, Messiah, go ahead, my brother. Oh, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, and uh, yeah, big shout out to the panel. Huge shout out to the chat. Uh, hit that like button, share it, sub to everybody here. It's a good group here. Uh, we cut up a little bit. Yeah, it was a good one. As you kind of see how our um, our our podcasting is kind of changing. It's uh, I mean, Sony's won this generation to the point where the Xbox people will have kids, and their kids are going to be born busy. They got hit so hard. So, um, <laughs> but uh, everybody enjoyed. Enjoy it. Well, I'm gonna be playing Elite Dangerous. I'm gonna be uh, streaming that after I watch The Mandalorian. So uh, come uh, check me out over there as I try to upgrade my ship and land on some planets and uh, play the games on a terrorist wing. No, right. <clears throat> my brother from another mother, Carlos Fernandez. You have the floor, bro. Yo, 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 yo. Well, thank you and uh, have a good night. Nah, just playing. Hey, people, as always. Gamer by choice, not by trend. But let's have some fun with these games and people. Be the strong friend for everyone in your community and in your life. With that, blessings upon on everyone. Deuces. All right. And last but not least, well, certainly not least, my brother, Mr. Foxy Games UK. You have the floor. Has everyone spoken already? They're gone. Yeah. Everyone... Everybody got oh, wow. One. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, yeah, Gamer Couch Podcast Sunday, you know the deal. Uh, I was in Ireland last weekend, so I couldn't do one. So, but um, as far as I know, the awful British weather has confined me to prison, I call my apartment. So, I'll be around. Um, all I can say is listen, take it all in your stride. Don't judge things before you without evidence. Like, don't hate for the sake of hating. Mm -hmm. if you don't like something, fine. But don't 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 dislike something and infect other people just because you don't like something because you know at the end of the day we want Microsoft to give Sony a little bit of a push and shove next gen, don't we? Because we want that bar to be raised. If no one's being like if no one's got their foot on your neck, you, like you, and I know Sony delivered the goods anyway, but they could always do better. Nobody's perfect. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Max. So so yeah, play games and corporations. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, before I shut it down, super chat from uh, Alex Caldwell. He's uh, five uh, five euros. I'm sorry. Thank you. He said uh, Phil said that Hellblade was very early in development, so don't think it's a release game. That's what he said. Nah, Appreciate it won't that. release for the Xbox. Damn. Yeah. Nah, 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 no way. They just bought that studio, and it was only at planning stage. Them up. They hadn't even started like, yeah. making levels yet. There's no way. Yeah. That's like okay, that's 2021. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's definitely a little later. But kind of like we did for, what was it, Order 1886, right? We got the trailer, then gameplay later, a year later. So it's kind of like the same trend I can definitely see for that game. Um, I just wonder what Nintendo's going to do because, eh. you know, yeah, the, the Switch is great and it's a portable. That's its unique, that's its USP unique selling point. But still, there's going to be a lot of talk next gen yeah. about these new systems. So they're going to have to, that's, uh, I think next year is their time to announce something. Are like they coming a out of a buffer one, though? Wasn't there, like, a beefier one that was supposedly going to release them? Well, Where they need it? to, because they need to, because there's no way they can carry on, you know, with the, the performance that they're getting out of this. I mean, I love the Switch, do you know yeah. what I mean? But comparatively, it's the next level, next gen. We're talking big boy shit. So they're going to need to come out of a pro model. Yeah. Did you say pro or yeah, Switch, Series Ninja, Ninja, X? Switch. Uh, <laughs> switch, switch, switch series switch series n there you go <laughs> project n there you go project n uh they need something like that but yeah i agree i definitely agree um things were going on 
Well, what an exciting time, though, eh? Oh, yeah, it's definitely yeah, exciting. Hell I'm yeah, hyped bro. for 2020. I, I, if you're not hyped for 2020, I don't know what to tell you, man. I really don't know what to tell you. Nah, they need to get out of that rabbit hole that they're stuck in and just start games. Start That's games, what they need man. to do. Enjoy yourselves. But thank you guys mm-hmm. again. I'm definitely mm-hmm. shutting it down. Uh, you want to see some facts? Well, I was just going to give a little bit of life advice very okay. quickly. Uh, you know, if you're having trouble, you know, getting a girlfriend, don't let all these games stop you from trying because I can see there's a lot of games coming out. Still try and find mm-hmm. some, don't give up. Yeah. There you go. Facts, my brother. Facts. That's so true. Uh, again, thank you again for everybody who came through. Uh, it was an awesome time. Great show. I will see you guys along with these awesome individuals next week. Hope you guys enjoy, and we'll definitely see you next time. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be easy. Y'all go play some games. Uh, you'll definitely uh, see me on the Gamer Couch Podcast with my brother Foxy here on Sunday, same time. Five you there, Craig? What about Craig? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, I'll, 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 uh, uh, listen, everyone here is invited. Like, you don't have to be invited. You don't have to wait on me to say, oh, you know what I mean? All you have to yeah. do is say, yeah, I, I'm in. And once you're in my uh, Discord, then you can just jump in anytime. So, like, don't be shy. I just, I just don't want dumb fuckers on my podcast. But there the people go. here seem okay. <laughs> uh, like Foxy just said in the chat, people, peace and love. And I do mean that. Thank you guys again. See you guys next week. Hope you guys have an awesome uh, weekend. And, uh, yeah, y'all be good. Until next time, y'all be gamers. All right. Bye. Shingra Tensei, Sekiro for the week.